magic damage na malakas yung spell damage. They rely on physical damage for that nux. So I think yun yung plano ng Fanatic dito. Oh, hindi, dito. hindi sila nag-mid ng Lina. They yeah, uh, opted out to go for a Templar Assassin. So this will mm -hmm. be a Lina and a Bounty Hunter Five on that support group. Mm -hmm. And uh, Life Stealer, Slardar, Life Stealer, Hard Carry, siguro Slardar will be Reserve on the offlane side. Virtus Pro, they go for a uh, Omni Knight on their side, mm -hmm. which is a very use useful hero, especially sa patch na to kung saan. Sang katotak na bakbakan ng nagaganap. Yes, that yan. repel, that guardian angel, and even the heal mm -hmm. will be very, very useful dito sa laban. And of course, the Dijan Aura, pagdating sa mga 5v5, that mobility, Tama yan. eh, mahihinder para dun sa side ng uh, fanatic. Yeah, I think what they're trying is, they want to survive yung burst damage potential nung, nung fanatic side, and then they want to pick pick up the the gang from there pick up the counter initiation from there parang they would just want to mabuhay lang tayo dito sa initial na onslaught ng fanatic then tayo naman yung babalik with that omni knight and the vision out of chase off ng mga sluggers so now they pick up natin. uh od maganda rin yan dahil uh, medyo spammer ang dating mm -hmm. nila rito ala allowing etong lineup ng virtus pro to spam up their skill will be the outworld devour yep. uh, yung talent tree actually ni Outworld Devourer, na, napaka-interesting yung with level 10. Kasi meron siya agad na plus 100 mana pool na raw pagka level 10 niya. Which is very strong actually if you think about it. Kasi yung Arcane Orb is always dependent on your mana. And having that raw out raw 100 mana that I think will deal about plus 40 damage. I think pure damage at least. So I think that's very good for... Outward Devourer this match. Okay, so tignan natin dito. Early smoke coming in from the side of Beertus Pro. Pero alam nila na meron nandito si Ohio sa loob ng pulo. And Ohio will be spotted. At uh, that will be triggered. And this is uh, not yet. Dad, hindi pa patay yung target dito. So here comes the point on screen. Trying to cut off itong ano. Wala silang way to disable the Slardar. And mukhang Ohio will waste the time of here to go pero tatama siya dito and that crit block pero there is a hit and that heal block no one that out will be poor getting that first blood that extended chase but nonetheless he killed going in favor of here to go very good sa pagbubosong ako si Ohio dito. Pero Bounty Hunter the will be there. Pating ito. Ay! Ayos! Actually, hindi natin alam. Hindi, tingin ko nakuha niya. Meron siyang 183 gold. Lil, with two plays of the game agad. 10 seconds into the game. Wow. Really good. Hindi ko alam. Wala akong naririnig na... May naririnig ba ang in-game sa nyo? Ako kami lang wala. Okay lang yun. Wala kami. Oh, hindi sa earphones na. Mid lane matchup natin. Medyo ngayon ang word placement dito para sa fanatic. And uh, they are trying to harass early. Itong si No One sa mid lane. Ito pang Crazy Bounty Hunter. Pero here comes the Earth Spirit agad. They want to try and uh, go for a counter initiation dito. But uh, itong uh, Birtus ko, hindi nila makakahanap yung uh, kill na yun. And Pasha is on that off lane uh, Omni Knight. He is just level one. He has purification up, but wala siyang uh, no ito. Repelling. He doesn't stun. It will connect, but he will be able to trigger that purification right on the nick of time. But he will go down. Pare sa kamay ng fanatic giving Mushi his first kill of the game. One is to one. This is the current scoreline natin dito in the early going. He is actually pulling. Wow. He was able to pull the kick because of his uh, boulder kick. Kicks. Boulder Killing and harm! Using 
Ohio on that slider. Ramsey on his juggernaut dito. Sino pinili nyo na control? Dun sa official, lagay nyo. Um, yeah, please. Oh, just English. Hindi siya napapalit ng, ano yun, ng grab sa game. Naman na nga siya. Okay. Okay lang ba yung ano? Denied. Oh. W. Dito tapos pakiclick yung sa gilid para maayos. Hindi, ayan o, oh, yung sa kasunod ng araw. Hindi magkakasunod yun. Hindi. Oh. Yan. Yan. Nadali nyo. Uh, ayan nga. Going back, we have Juggernaut leading. Uy, pero nahuli agad nila rito si Pebby and Pebby! Known for his bounty hunter, but he will get caught dito sa ng dalawang support dito na Virtus Pro giving them their second kill, and Virtus Pro is protecting their jungle well dito sa early goings ng laro natin. Tama yun. They want to protect their jungle because the damping objectives na pwede nila makuha dyan. They have the bounty spot, bounty room spot, and we try nya for their support duo to work with. Oh, and they are BP gathering now for that shrine, and they will just trigger. Yung uh, region ng shrine na yun. Juggernaut is having a very decent laning phase. He is leading the game in terms of plus hit and denies. And uh, Slardar is just 11 and 0. TA is 12 and 5 in the mid lane against a 20 and 7 na Outworld Devourer dito. Pero ito. Solo, Solo being chased out. Tignan natin. Hinilipat niya. Here comes the kick. Stunning them. Holding them into place. And Slardar will trigger his stomp dito. And they will try to go for that Earth Spirit. But Earth Spirit very low on HP dito. He might go down. And this will give Fnatic their second kill of the game. And they will manage to take down that Earth Spirit as well. Uh, immediately triggering their own shrine in the process. 2-2 two is 2-2 two, two, two ang ating scoreline dito. Here comes that Repel. At uh, Omni Knight will be able to run into safety. Ay na. Maririnig ko ang sarili. May in-game. <laughs> Kami wala. <laughs> so, yun nga. Mga okay. viewers natin. We are watching Virtus Pro vs. Fanatic. Oo, uh, VO1 Even lang to sa simula stage, oh. ng ESL1 Genting, mga kaibigan. Eto, TA being chased down dito. Pero pro protektadong protektado siya rito. Hindi niya lang alam. Nandito ang Slardar. Nandito rin ang Bounty Hunter. Pero... Outworld Devourer, hindi siya mag-overextend doon. At eto, Yamate, Ni Wei Pong, Why God? Ang bagong addition dito sa Fnatic. Oh, dati siyang isang known na core player, pero ngayon he's switching up to support. So, Uy, pumasok ang boulders ma ang uh, ano rito, rolling boulder. At eto, TA is very low on HP. He doesn't have any mana. And he might, he, he might go down, pero he will be able to trigger that... Uh, Oh, oh, fairy fire, allowing him to survive, and now they have turned the tides. Pero hindi nila po pwersa ng issue dito, and there will be no kill on that mid lane, forcing some rotations dito. But the juggernaut, he is chasing down the lane dito. Omni slash will seal the deal. Pero tignan natin na Slardar, susubukan siyang mga bule, susubukan mga bule na juggernaut dito. Pero uy, yung ganda naman, triggering yung kanyang ano ron. Salve na hindi makaka-cancel ng damage ng uh, creep since uh, meron siyang ano? Ne, meron siya ng uh, poor man shield. Oh, and that's been Rooney will give Ramsey his second kill dito. And uh, ito, ang naudlot na pagharap sa mid lane. Oh, problem ari nya nang light strike ari, kasi mejo mabagal yung animation nya. Four to three is the score. Dekatang laban aten di to. 
TA being able to survive yung mga gang sa mid lane with the help of course of that refraction. Well, I think what's more uh, notable here is Ramsey is having those two kills and actually leading the last hits and the last hits. I think his net worth is actually really good. Mm, getting two kills on top of his uh, farm. Pero ito, here comes his smoke rotation. Rubik will be spotted. Dito, and here will be the offense coming in. Here comes the telekinesis. The kick will hold them in position. Followed up by that. Oy, pero in face bomb. Will be able to secure the deal. Dito for Fnatic and Muchi will get his third kill of the game. Giving him his killing spree dito. Mid lane is 43-15 OD up against a 33 and 11 Templar Assassin. Pero here comes the gank in that mid lane. Tignan natin. Here comes the slow coming in. There's amplified damage. Eh, mabubuhay ba? Hindi. He will go down. Yeah, good rotation coming off of that slider. Then cutting off yung backlights, yung retreat points ni OD for the rest of his teammates to kill him. Oh, oh. So that is a hey, very... Very important kill going in favor of Fnatic. And they are now up by one kill dito sa laro natin. And yung kills na yun is nabupunta dun sa Templar Assassin and yung Lifestealer, which is very good for the team. Having those scores and early early kills is very important in six in patch 7.0. Medyo feel ko kasi kapag nakakapatay kayo, nakakapatay sa una dito sa patch 7.0, mas, mas may incentive kayo eh, compared dun sa last, last patch. Kasi... When you when you get a momentum here in patch 7.0, you have so many object objectives to secure. Na mo na pa rin masikip. Kaya I think having these early rotations, early flashes is very important for teams to to have here in patch 7.00. Okay, so yun nga. Tignan natin dito ngayon. Ha? Kung ano nang nangyayari dito sa magkabilang teams natin. 4 to 5, medyo nagkaroon ng uh, health sa aggression dito ng Virtus Pro. Here comes the Slardar. Uh, triggering yung Amplified Damage yun dito. Okay, so both teams are now farming. And um, na-mention kanina nung panel na ano daw eh, dito sa patch 7.0, after na mga 5 minutes, 6 minutes mo magpa-farm sa safe lane, ang gagawin mo as a carry is you move to the off lane to secure a kill on, a, on the offlane tower. So I think yun yung medyo ginawa ng Fnatic kanina. Hindi lang sila nakapush kasi inuna nila yung hero kills eh. So, I don't know. Ikaw ba ako yun? Ano masabi mo sa patch 7.0 so far? Radiant sa mga kung, kung nakapaglaro ka. Kasi ako para sa akin parang maas ma-action siya eh. Mas, yung mas na-feel ko na mas gusto ng mga teams na magalo makipag-clash. Katulad ngayon. 10 minutes pa lang, meron na agad na 3-man rotation from, from Fanatics. Well, depende pa rin sa Radiance kung anong uh, objective oh. ng lineup niya rito. Oh. Well, marami na rin kasing uh, bagong mechanics dito. Of course, yung uh, the ability to fight pa dun sa jungle attack. niya with the help mm -hmm. of the shrine. The ability Tama. to EP dun mm -hmm. sa jungle. Eh, at saka syempre ang pinakamalakit at babago para sa akin will be yung uh, neutral dito. Dahil every 2 minutes na siya nagsusunod. So you mm. need to protect your resources dahil mm -hmm. hindi siya every, every, every minute magre-respond yun. Kumbaga, mas valuable na siya ngayon as compared before. Mm, kung ako, mabubuo ng team, meron ako play every 2 minutes. Raraking ko yung jungle ng kapila. <laughs> pwede yun, pwede yun. Kawa kayo ng mga strong junglers like, uh, ano, Lifestealer. Oh, but Rubik going down dito. The juggernaut split Sandra pushing attack. on the top lane. Bottom lane. Being assaulted dito by Team Fnatic. Uh, ito, rarakan nila si Omni Knight dito. Pero he will trigger, trigger the refill. Here comes the rolling. And oh, the Magnetize will be triggered. And they might take down this Templar Assassin. But he will be able to trigger yung kanyang ano rito. Refraction. Refraction. Pero mamamatay siya sa kamay. Mamamatay din. Ay, naku, makakataka sa Stardar. But the Lina going down on the top lane. Making it a 3 for one trade. Going in favor of Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro. Napakagad ng counter-initiation oh. from Lil. Grabe. Taking down two in that bottom lane by Pasha with his Omni Knight. Mm -hmm. And napaka-important kills actually on the, on the Bounty Hunter and the Templar Assassin. One of the major snowball kind of heroes. You want your Templar Assassin to be on top of the network at this moment. Pero actually, nasa fourth place siya. 
So, in your dream with... Actually, bagong ano to, no? Bagong membro ng Fanatic. Maybe hindi pa siya masyadong sanay. Kasi you, you want your TA to be on top of the network, network yeah, chart talaga. Pero ang katapat siya ng OD. Nabangga, Yun nga lang talaga. Nabangga siya ni OD dito. Pero ito, sini pa lang siya papalayo. Tignan natin. Rolling Thunder. Pero here comes the... the uh, responde para dito sa Fnatic and they will, they will take down itong Templar Assassin again and they are going for a chase dito sa Lina he is out of range of that DJ Naura and uh, makakatakbo siya but again the bigger target has been taken down that is your Templar Assassin going down again and on top of that allowing Virtus Pro to take your tier 1 tower in that middle lane. And Juggernaut continuing to snowball dito. He is 6,600 in terms of network, leading all heroes. Yes. And very concerning now Radiant's for Fanatic and yung Thunder kanilang attack. 4 na Templar Assassin. Trailing down against an offlane Omni Knight ni Pasha. Okay, pero Virtus eto, Pro mukhang masesepat nila rito si Omni Knight. There is that infest no bomb. Yeah, and we, we don't know that. Hindi alam pa ng Virtus Pro naman yun, but na-spot naman kasi ni Omni Knight yung gang, so I think that's well and good for Virtus Pro. Radiant's yeah, bottom so, tower Rubik is under attack. Target. Oh, pero mo makakataka siya dito. At uh, Fnatic, they are trying to take this tier 1 tower in the bottom lane. Pero tingnan natin kung mag-defend dito. Itong Virtus Pro, pero at the moment, there is no TP Radiant's coming in on the side tower. of Virtus Pro. Attack. I think they will just continue to farm on the other lanes dito. 8 to 7 is the scoreline. One kill advantage going in favor of the CIS team against the home, the hometown kid of the CSL1 Genting. Mga kaibigan, walang iba kung hindi ang team fanatic. Now, Mushi with that arm let pick up. I don't know about the items. So, I think. Ano, ano ba magandang on hand dito? Do you, do you want your desolator to come first? Or. Do you want your Echo Saber muna? Because I think... Is under attack. Mm. Mas maganda siguro kung... Oh, hindi ako big fan ng Echo Saber. Ah, okay. mm. Pero ito, here comes the TP coming in. Here comes the Earth Spirit. He, Another he, is the, he is the magnetized mga kaibigan. They are going for chase. Juggernaut chasing itong uh, Slardar. And Slardar will be taken down that by an Omni Slash. And the Templar Assassin, he is in danger in the mid lane. He, he might go down for the third time. But he will take down the Earth Spirit with him. Making that a 2v1 uh, engagement going in favor of Virtus Pro again. And two more core kills in exchange of one support. Virtus Pro will have a will be happy. Oh, with grabe naman na pagamit ng Rubik dito. Rubik Lord, but he might go down, but the save coming in from that OD. Tignan natin kung mahahabol nila ang Bounty Hunter dito. Here comes the heal coming in. And they will survive. Juggernaut. Grabe ang uh, regeneration nila ang sustain dito ng Virtus Pro. They have the Omni Knight, plus they have the healing wards allowing them to fight extensive yeah. at saka dito sa ano sa laban natin na to. Oh, ex laging extended fight ang hinahanap ng Virtus Pro with all of their sustain and actually with that uh, passive skill from all from OD they can spam out their their skills talaga eh. Mm. Because of the to 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 to. Pero ito, they are now trying to take the tier 2 tower but four heroes of Fnatic will defend this and it will be enough to fend off etong push coming in from, from Virtus Pro. Right. Uh, ay, Dominator yung item ng Jagger. Well, actually, medyo nauuso yung Dominator. Just wala na lifesteal yun eh. Oo nga, wala na siya lifesteal but it has uh, armor and region. Tapos, I think ang mas value dito ay pagkuha ng creep eh. They, inaabangan nila yung purge creep. Uh, kasi, malayo yung range no mismo purge. And it's actually a very good utility for carries to have. It's, Here comes it's Fnatic. Offensive and defensive. Okay, Fnatic, Fnatic, they are under the cover of smoke. They will have an engage. We will have an engagement dito sa mid lane dito. Bounty Hunter will be the one trying to spot off dito ang Beertus Pro. Beertus Pro, nasa backline nila ang uh, Fanatic dito. And here comes Slardar going in, but here comes the immediate trigger of that Guardian Angel. And Ohio, he will be the first one to fall. And here comes the chase coming in from Beertus Pro. Here is the kick coming in from the Lina. He will catch two. Pero Lina, ni normal pa yung clip dito. Tignan natin kung abutin nila. Uy! Grabe naman yun. Baon ka ba? Loko weak. Patay ka dito. Earth Spirit 
will go down. Pero Febby he is running but he will be telekinesis. And ayun na, patay siya dyan. 2 for 1 trade. 2 for 1 trade again for Greater Small. I think it's a questionable engagement for Fnatic. They want to engage under the towers of Virtus Pro. Medyo hindi magandang move yan for me. And I think they're, they want they just want to make something happen with their lineup. And medyo ill-advised siya for me. Pero yun na, nangyari na ang dapat mangyari. 12 to 9 is the scoreline. And it's an interesting build from Outward Devourer, skipping that point All on the ultimate. 11-13 with no points on ultimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, mi click on that. <laughs> on that first staff. On that dragon, uh, Hurricane Pike. Oh, we only have Hurricane Pike. Mm -hmm. 17 minute Hurricane Pike and they are now, it's now Virtus Pro turn to use that smoke Radiance and try to gank into Salaman natin attack. Natin. And actually, Ohio has picked up his blink dagger. No, but instead they will go inside the rush pit. But there is a uh, psionic trap uh, from that uh, Temporary Assassin. Temporary Assassin. Pero immediately retriggering yung kanilang uh, smoke dito. And they will find the TA. And TA will be caught. And he will go down. Let the kill for Ramsey. And that is a dead Temporary Assassin. However, on the bottom lane, Fanatic going for their own objective, which is a tier 2 tower. Pero ma mapapalawan sila. Kaya napakalubog pala sila. Pwede na, nalilingkin na. Pero napakagandang ginawa ng Virtus Pro actually doon eh. They, they know na naspatan sila na nag-Roshan. So what they did was to attack the Roshan for a bit. And then they faked that out and then nag-smoke like, sila to catch out kung sino man yung magpapasok mula sa Fanatic. And yun nga, nakita nila yung Temper Assassin because of that play. Very, very mind game-ish play coming out from that Virtus Pro. And they will reap the rewards out of that. The Temper Assassin kill and uh, now the Roshan. So they might go for bigger objective dito, this Beertus Pro team, since uh, they have the Aegis on their side and they need to do something about this. Dahil uh, alam naman natin na whenever you have the Aegis, you are the one that is willing to engage mm -hmm. dito. Tama yun. And Fnatic, they have this Bounty Hunter, but that but they are not making plays around Bounty Hunter. They want to use that track to get that gold racking up for them, but they are not doing so. So I think Fnatic, if they want to win this game pa, kung sino ba nilang makabawi, I think they have to play around their their Slardar and their Bounty Hunter na. Hindi rin natin nakikita yung uh, rotation coming in from that Slardar Life Sealer which is one of the most feared uh, mm -hmm. combination dun sa previous patch natin of course. Uh, kanina nakita natin pero they fail miserably at uh, namatay yung dalawa nilang kampi dun. Mm -hmm. I think yun yun siguro nagkakaroon sila ng Jitters dun. Kasi in fairness with Virtus Pro, they're grouping, as, as, grouping up as five right now. And, and for the past few minutes. And uh, now up with the Manta style dito. Life Sealer is keeping yung uh, Exocetor in. So they're raising for a Desolator. But the question still remain. Can he hit that hard to salvage this game? Especially against an Omni Knight. Mm -hmm. Na alam naman natin that a direct counter yung mga physical hero like the A, Slardar, eh yung uh, ano niya? Guardian Angel and Repel. Guardian Cardan 250. So, na, alam mo yung na, ang ganda din yung last pick nung pag-iisip nito ng Virtus Boy. The last pick nila yung ano, OD para maka makaligtas niya kung sino man yung tinatalo na nung Slardar. Because of that Astral Impersonal Mate. Pero, they can only do so much but can they defend this? Their, their range tracks being assaulted diba, by Ramsey. Tignan natin. And Ramsey grabe being, sustain. Grabe sustain. Dyer's middle barracks. And Fnatic, they can't do anything about this to be honest. Because of, because of ages then, and the fact that the kit of Virtus Pro is But Guardian immediately triggered dito. TA will be the one who will, be get, who will get caught dito. But there's the kick, but TA will survive and they will uh, attain objective dito. Sanity Eclipse, Omni Slash, Bounty Hunter to go down, Templar Assassin will survive. Pero Lina being chased down by the Juggernaut and the Nikes will go down as well. Beardus Pro not losing anyone on the process. Slardar going in, but na pa siya na na telekinesis siya dito and he will go down as well. And this is starting 
to get out of hand. Super para dito, fast sa side ng Fnatic. Di, oh, sabi nila, namatay na silang lahat doon. Eh di yan naman gagawin natin. Punin na natin yung mga greater objective dito. We will go for a secondary set of rocks dito. But instead, they will force the buyback and they will immediately back off dito. Can Fnatic uh, do something? Can they kill someone dito in order for them to... I mean, use that buyback effectively coming yeah. in from the light sealer, pero mukhang wala silang makikita, wala silang makikita. Actually, we, they have a stolen track on that Rubik. That's why they, they were able to spot that bounty hunter. Dyer's top tower is under Print attack. By the Rubik, mga kaibigan. Uy! Just using the fade bolt para... To hindi mapatik. Oh, para hindi rin siya ma matik ni Ganyo. Kaso. Yeah. And getting two kills on that buyback, on two supports and stopping that push from the high ground is pwede na. Pwede somewhat, na. Pwede okay. Na. somewhat okay but the, the the cost is so much talaga for fanatic and those are track kills with all due fairness so i think not so bad pero yun the fact that they lost the mid lane of mid lane of racks i think that's very very uh, masakit yun for the part of fanatic very crippling in their in terms of economy and their and in terms of map control. Sixteen to eleven is the scoreline. Twenty three minutes into the game. And here this pro they will still go for objective dito since uh, they are in the upper hand dito sa laban natin na to. And uh, they will only get stronger. Dahil bagyug ngayon bibili na sila ng mga items nila. They will reap the rewards ng mga ano nila. Click mo mm. Dota. Yung Hmm. Eh. And uh, actually, TA will, will be skipping that blink dagger. Hmm. I think okay lang naman kasi hindi rin naman siya makapag-blink in eh. I think when he blinks in, he will, he will just die. Because of how much but damage coming out. But here is a Shiva. Uh, she, a completed Shiva's guard for your OD. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a very good item yes, against many definitely. heroes. And of course, yung mga usap mga physical heroes oh, yeah. ng... Uh, fanatic dito at ito nga sinasabi natin palakas ng nabalakas dito ang Virtus Pro yeah and they are also picking up the right the right uh, items, uh, items. Oh. and now a dagger and a defusal blade completed on your juggernaut allowing him to pick off yung mga priority targets niya rito kung goto si yeah. uh, another way to purge off many uh, for example yung truck he can purge off that truck pero medyo medyo expensive na way to purge off the truck but Still, we, uh, in very important situations, you want to have that purge going in for you. Going in for you. Come on, man. Asu. So they're now chasing on Mushi. They've spotted oh, Mushi nah. alone nah, here. Kuya si Mushi, 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 Chai na ako. Stunned and silenced and <laughs> eclipsed. So, hindi <laughs> na nila pinatakas talaga. Wala pa wala. Maninisi na naman yung si Mushi. Okay, <laughs> So, yun na. Napakagay na kasi yung talent trees ni Odi talaga ngayon eh. On his second Dyer's talent trees, pwede kang pumili between, at, uh, I think, H armor and attack speed. Plus 20 attack speed on your Odi is very good. Oh, especially. I alam mo naman actually na, picked up for that armor. Yeah, alam mo naman na, ano yun eh. Kumbaga, nagsisinergize na maganda sa first skill niya. And they will immediately go into the high ground dito. Pumasok ang Earth Spirit dito. Pero Bushi, Bushi is And a good stun. Oh, grabe naman. Oh, pero ito, Odi. Tignan natin dito. Patay tayo dyan. Blade Fury. And that Lena will go down. And the uh, Fnatic, they will lose a tier 3 tower and that bottom lane. And they might lose a set of rocks dito. Kung hindi nila madidepende na maayos. They don't have the Lena, but Mushi is now alive. Can they do something about this? Here comes the buyback. Juggernaut on that spin. Uh, Ohio and Mushi taking the long route dito but the triggered na triggered na ang Guardian Angel dito ang Guardian 250 repel ka dito Omni Slice ah wala ginamit ang Omni Slice dito hindi na natin nagkakabakba ka dito uy boy pa ang Juggernaut Juggernaut is still alive and kicking magnetize on Mushi and Mushi he will go down as well and the starter to follow they will get the TA Ramsey is on a godlike streak giving him a triple kill and he might get a, another one TA with a buyback GG will be called and that is the strength of Beardus Pro taking down Fnatic dito sa unang laban ng ESL1 game team. Outplayed, outdrafted, outclassed. Sobrang durog doon yung Fnatic. 
Wala ka lang kami. Ang susunod na laban natin dyan, execration, will be DC versus, versus